Okay, um, but I thought our walk was just, <laughs> she's a paint stripper, that's cute. I thought our walk was just practice and that was some serious shit. I didn't go to our walk. Yeah. I heard that. Good night, you know, are you, you know leaving? You know what I found interesting though? Uh-huh. Uh, Sergio Ballesteros. 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 Uh-huh. He appeared on NBC for a webcast, sorry, for a webcast show, whatever, speaking on behalf of Occupy with two other folks. Uh-huh. I find it interesting that at Art Walk, they arrested him and posted his and charged him with lynching fifty thousand dollars a and couple of days his, after he made like this right. fucking posted his bond yeah. at fifty thousand. I heard he was no, really he awesome that, on that show too. Before, he was great. He was wonderful. No, a couple of days after he made this right, he made this public interview. Statement. Yeah, exactly. I, de I, I debated really with with the Tea Party, they, they the legitimate the Tea Party to arrest him and, and, and post a bail for fifty thousand dollars. The tea party is not legit. No. <laughs> I just, I just find that really fascinating how coincidental that is. Fucking fabrication, dude. How do they there like fucking put Occupy LA and the Tea Party together? That I, there is no comparison. There's only contrast. You know, honestly though, after having, legit, seen, after having seen that webcast, <laughs> I, I, I understood, I understood that there's common. I guess what I'm trying to say is, fuck the Tea Party. Hey, 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 but, but see, that's the thing hey, is that hey, the Tea Party hey, people hey, are like part of the 99. Hey, percent So like, uh, yes and no. Yeah, so you can't, you can't do that. You can't alienate people uh, from your, yeah, your cause. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I have definitely 99 percent uh, not a Tea Party. Or so even if they sympathize with 99 percent since 50 percent, that would be a good start. But we can't I should not be 44 percent. Like, well, I would, but by when I say 99 percent, I mean Occupy LA, the Occupy movement. It doesn't mean just. I thought you already left. That's what right. I was telling. Okay, this is the thing the that I discovered. I went back home to like talk I to people. I will not be an apologist for a tea party yes. for Christmas and for New Year's. Where we're so mad. I'm from Chicago, uh -huh. Chicago, Illinois. I was born and raised there. Political town. I love it. It's the best political experience, like political exposure I could have gotten growing up. So their biggest question was, how was jail? It sucks. <laughs> but this is the thing that I discovered when I went back to Chicago and I talked to people who were sympathetic for this movement but who didn't really understand it and didn't participate in it. They said that there are a lot of people who will not get behind this movement because it's too radical for them. And then we have radical people in the movement saying that we're too conservative and we're not legitimate because we're too conservative. Right. And these radical people do things like call the cops pigs. And when somebody calls a law enforcement individual who's been hired to keep the peace and you disrespect them, that's too radical. I can understand though. <laughs> from my Americans. experience, but from my experience, I understand. Right. Like I get why, it, because I've never, like I've seen a lot. All you need is love. <laughs> no, people, no, no, no. Like, like middle class people who I was talking to, friends, colleagues, classmates, who I left back home, etc. That's what they were saying. They said, well, how can we support a movement when these people, these radical people who are doing these things, don't express our viewpoints, who don't express, um, you know, our concerns. And instead, they, Who's they're... Who's concerns? Who's the 99%? Middle class. That's not the 99%. Like the nine, that's one individual saying no, that. No, this was that like does, 10 individuals saying that. That was 10 individuals. All right, I want to hear, I wanna hear what you have to that. let him speak. I want to so, hear. So that, that was something that opened my eyes because I was yeah, involved with the Occupy movement for like a good two months or whatever since point. I moved to LA. And I was at the camp and I, and I saw what was going on there and it was amazing. It was fascinating. It was like enlightening. It was uplifting and everything. But the everyday person at home who is not a political activist, who does not, who does have a job or maybe has a family and has to take care of those priorities and cannot come and participate and who represent the 99% who are part of the 99%. These people see the sound bites on TV, they see the little presentations of these radical people calling cops pigs on mainstream media and they get this impression that it's a bunch of radical hippies who don't represent their concerns. And that is my biggest criticism that I have of the Occupy movement. From talking to people that I know. And Hi. Hey. Hey. How's it going? Good, it's, 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 it's hard to, I'm live feed, I'm live streaming. What's your name? My name is Gabriel. Okay, Gabriel, I'm gonna save this. I'm gonna put your name on it, and then okay, I can cool. send you a Gabriel link or whatever. Yeah. All I'm right. All right. I'm gonna drop feed for like 30 seconds. Wait, oh, I was gonna take a minute. Go. I gotta type his name.